Hi guys, it's Stacy from Clothes Live On and today I'm doing kind of a follow-up video that I've done before all about relisting your Poshmark listings and why you should do it and the reasoning behind why you should relist remains the same so if you haven't seen that video I will link it in the description but how I do it using this perfectly has changed and that is because I have discovered via my friend Oliessa actually that if you relist directly to Poshmark via Poshmark using List Perfectly, which I know sounds like a lot, but if you have List Perfectly or if you saw that video, you know what I mean. Um, but if you do it directly through Poshmark, your photos actually end up blurry because they expand and then compress again because Poshmark uses small photos. So there is a workaround for that, which I will take you over to my computer and show you that. Um, so instead of me just rambling, let's go do that. If you relist with List Perfectly, this is the new way that I am recommending that you do it. So I am going to show you how I am now relisting. Um, so before I was doing um, copy to and then I would do it to Poshmark. But when you do that, what happens is it expands your photos and then it recompresses them because Poshmark uses small photos and that makes you lose photo quality. So here is an example of one that was relisted directly through Poshmark and the photos are grainy. This one's not as bad, but they aren't as crisp and clear as they used to be. So what I am doing instead now is I am instead listing through eBay, relisting through eBay. So I just use the find feature and I look up whatever I am trying to relist. This definitely takes longer than it once did. So I copy it into Poshmark and this does take a lot longer of a processing time. What happens is uh, list perfectly will reopen your eBay listing. It'll copy all the info and then it'll put it into Poshmark. And I have to keep in mind that things like the title might get cut off because eBay allows more characters for the title than Poshmark does, but it will restore my photo quality since I have not been relisting eBay stuff at all. So here you see that the size just got cut off. So I will just um, make it a 15.5 instead. And you have to fill in all this info if you're not familiar with um, relisting through list perfectly at all. This stuff is already filled out. I want it to match the price over here because um, my eBay prices do tend to be a little different. Um, I slowly lower things on Poshmark as they get relisted. So I want this at $15. So I am going to list it now. And then I will go back into my closet so that you can see my newly relisted Brooks Brothers shirt versus the old one. So here is with the eBay photos. And there it was when it was relisted. This had only been done, I believe, one time. So it's not a huge photo difference, but it is there. This one's definitely more blurry. And the more times that I was going to relist it directly through Poshmark, each and every time I'm going to lose photo quality. And photos really make a difference in you selling your item. I know po or, um, List Perfectly has said that the other thing you can do is copy your listing directly to List Perfectly and then relist it that way. I haven't done that just because I think it's easier for me to do it through eBay. But I wanted to show you guys that in case you were um, following my old tutorial or you had just done it on your own that you were copying directly to Poshmark using List Perfectly and to prove that you are losing photo quality by doing that. And even List Perfectly has acknowledged that you're going to lose photo quality. So if you cross post, you should be relisting via another platform. And if you do not cross post, copy it to List Perfectly and then relist it that way. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions about relisting with List Perfectly, let me know in a comment down below. And if you don't use List Perfectly and you're interested in trying it out, I do have an affiliate link in the description of all of my videos. I think it's more toward the bottom. Um, I use them for all of my listings. I highly recommend them. There is a monthly fee and what that fee is depends on the subscription that you pick. So you can check out their website for all of the monthly plan info. 
but I swear by List Perfectly. I use them for all my listings and for all my relisting. Um, so if you're interested, you can check that out. But I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you later. Bye.